Hey everybody, my name is Zach Fryman. I'm an aerospace engineering junior here at Syracuse University, and I just wanted to say welcome to the Student Machine Shop. So this is a space down in the basement of Link Hall where students can come and work on projects, whether it be for classes or extracurriculars, anything really that they're working on that's academically focused. Um, just to go over some of the examples of some of the machinery we have here that you can get trained on and, and really learn to get proficient with, um, we've got everything from hand-operated lathe machines, mills is what you're looking at right now. Um, we, these are all your manual setups. So back behind me, we have a machining lathe. Again, you just looked at a mill. We've got some of the more basic stuff like band saws, grinders, belt sanders. And then over in the other side of the shop, there's some CNC stuff. So that's more advanced. You're writing a computer code to machine specific parts. So again, whether that's for research purposes, classes, projects, or extracurriculars, whether you're working with a team like Formula or Baja or Robotics or a handful of other extracurricular clubs that you can work with here at Syracuse University. So this is another space we have. So in here you've got welders, everything from MIG and TIG welding all the way up to things like well, plasma cutting, water jet, and various different higher manufacturing forms for metal fabrication. These spaces are frequented by the clubs like Formula and Baja who are fabricating steel tube chassis and all sorts of other things. And then you've obviously also got research projects for different graduate level professors and, and research students as well as personal projects and any student can come in and they can get trained as we mentioned before in the student machine shop on the machines but you can also actually go and talk to one of our research uh, machinists bill and he'll come over and train you in welding so you can learn mig tig stick any type of welding that you want to learn whether that be again for academic purposes or if you're just interested in learning how to how to weld so here's some more of the, those machines we were talking about back in the far side of the student machine shop. So what you're looking at is a CNC lathe. So this does the exact same thing as the machine you saw in the front of the space. The only difference is with this machine, you can actually program it to do things automatically so you can make extremely precise and repeatable programs so that you can manufacture large numbers of parts, whether again it be for a student project or if it's something extracurricular. Over on the other side of the room, we have a similar machine, except that is a CNC late, a mill. So that is, again, the computerized version of the machine you saw up in the front of the space, where once again, you can design and write files so that you can repeatedly and precisely manufacture parts out of aluminum, steel, any other material that we have bits to cut. All right, welcome to the new laser room downstairs. So this is another offshoot of the student machine shop. So in here, we've got some new high-end laser tables. So these can cut materials, everything from balsa wood to rubber to steel, all the way up to 3 16ths of an inch on this high power laser. These are really, really helpful, again, be it for student projects, if you need something for, for a class project, also the extracurriculars. I know personally the race teams for Baja and Formula will love these lasers. It's really helpful for fabricating and cutting really, really high precision stock for a variety of uses. And we've got this is our highest power laser. Again, this will do steel and, and thick sheet metal. And then we've got a slightly small, lower power laser, but same setup. And then the older laser that we have, this is super important for our aerospace senior capstone, who's used it for years to make balsa wood cutouts for their senior design airplanes. All right, so this is our vehicle design lab. This is the home to our Formula SAE and Baja SAE race teams. So there's two cars in here. Um, the one right in front of you and right in front of me is our Formula SAE car. So this is a track-oriented student vehicle. It's designed to go really, really fast on pavement. And then back behind me is our Baja car. So this is an off-road dune buggy style race vehicle. They both compete in similar type series. But again, this is on dirt. This is on track. In the past year, Baja has gone to competition three separate times. They were in Ohio, actually, with me way back last fall. And then last spring, they were in Pennsylvania. And then this past fall, this most recent fall, they were in Michigan. And then last year in May, our formula team went to Michigan, to Michigan International Raceway, where they competed for the first time in 12 years. So these are both student clubs that you can get involved with from day one, from the time you come to Syracuse University. You can get your hands on involved with building one of these vehicles. It's a great way to diversify your educational career from the things you're learning in lecture and class and apply them to a real world application where you're building a race car.